Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with Massacred Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the print function. Uh, the print function has a couple um, uh, features that we'd like to use. All right, so that's what I was looking for there. Uh, first, it will return a string to us without the quotes around it if we call print on a string. Uh, also, we will um, use the escape characters if we threw, threw in some escape characters. And the most important feature that you use as you get more advanced in writing programs, it's a great debugging tool. So I'm going to show you all three of those examples now. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it returns a nicer string to us uh, without the quotes around it. So we'll just say master code online like this. And we'll say prints and we'll call the uh, master code online string. And notice we don't have the quotes around it. Now, if I called it just without the print, then I got quotes around it. So it returns a little nicer string. All right. <clears throat> How about if we're using escape characters, like the new line character? So if we did uh, B is equal to, uh, let's say, Python, uh, then we'll do new line, uh, Java, then new line, and Swift. All right. So now when we call, uh, call just B, we get the the string with the new line characters in there doesn't look pretty it doesn't do anything for us but if we call print and then we call b in there we get python java swift so it returns how we expect it to look all right a little bit easier to read um how about if we're using a triple quote um which allows us to do multi-line uh um, strings let's get and take a look at that c is equal to three double quotes and we're going to say python and i'm going to hit return and i'm going to say java and i'm going to hit return and i'm going to say swift like that close out our string hit return and then i'm going to say print c all right we got python java and swift so it returns it how we expect it to look uh, one other thing I want to show you guys real quick. Um, I know you guys aren't working with Django, but this is a project that we were doing for a tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you how we debug real quick. So just bear with me for a second where I figure out where I am because I look at all these projects all day long. All right, there we go. So I'm going to say, let's go ahead and print the base dir right here. Base dir. This is going to give us the base directory that our project is contained in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, run my server here. So I'm going to control C and run server. And you notice it says users, admin, desktop, Django, tutorials, tutorials. So go ahead. It went and printed out something to me. So that's really nice because if I didn't have that in there, that wouldn't have been printed and I wouldn't know the base directory of my project. So it's a great debugging tool. If you have any questions about the print function, please let us know over at mastercode.online. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial.